welcome back to the channel. We are watching Galaxy Quest. So Casey has no idea what this movie's about. Mm -mm. And I kind of re-wanted to watch it again because I had seen it before when I was a kid. Uh, because we were playing Hogwarts Legacy recently, uh, we had watched the first Harry Potter movie a little bit prior to that, so I've kind of been on a little Harry Potter kick. The reason I bring that up is because Alan Rickman is in this movie. I loved him as an actor, and I feel like this is probably the first movie, this or Die Hard was the first movie I saw him in. Yeah, I have no idea what it's about. I don't even know the genre, but <laughs> Galaxy Quest, I mean, that sounds like it could be like sci-fi-ish, maybe action-y, I guess we'll see. Uh, I will say also Tim Allen is in this movie, and Sigourney mm. Weaver. Hmm. Wow. When did this come out? <laughs> to, uh, late 90s or early 2000s. Is that supposed to be like Star Trek? It's a cold meltdown, sir. It can't be stopped. Surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. You order, sir? It's a famous line. Never give up, never surrender. Hmm. He booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. <laughs> Stretch it out. How did I come to this? <laughs> Alex, at least you had a part. Okay? You had a character people loved. I mean, my TV Guide interview was six paragraphs about my boobs. <laughs> I repeated the computer. She went from Ripley to this. <laughs> Your commander is on deck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that smog is thick today, huh? The star of the show. I used to get him and Nicolas Cage confused. Really? <laughs> when I was, like, younger, yeah. I have since figured out the difference. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? Hmm? What? You're late. You're letting the, the fans the wait. The Honestly, that's pretty uh, commonplace for conventions. <laughs> Having to wait, I mean. Yeah. You stole all my best lines. You cut me out of episode two entirely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my personal favorite. Where did you go? So their show aired a long time ago. Yeah, so. that's what I figured. <laughs> Full speed ahead, huh? The commander and his crew will be signing autographs on a Oh, they cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> episode 15, Mists of Delos 5. I got the feeling... That you and the commander kind of had a thing, did you? <laughs> oh, the shippers. Mm -hmm. and I never had a thing. We're guilty of that a lot in shows. <laughs> Excuse me. Gwen. They might be wanting to have a thing now. We'll see. Gwen. Oh, the cast doesn't seem too um, fond of him. He might want to have a thing with her. <laughs> I must speak to you. It is a matter of supreme importance. We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula. And we need your help. Oh, dang! Getting into character! <laughs> Remember, mum is the word. Certainly, but I'm. Mum. 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 Is that, that Dwight? It? Yes! <laughs> I did from not the realize office? that! <laughs> We've been rewatching The Office, too, recently. <laughs> So who are these just <laughs> random haters just showing up to this convention? How do you hate the guy but just want the dancers from the show? <laughs> don't let them get to you. Look at all these fans that came and showed up for you. Just don't let two haters, like, ruin your day. There is no quantum flux. There's no auxiliary. There's no goddamn shit. Oh. You got it? It's like never meet your heroes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he lives compared to them. Well, does he made more money? <laughs> Was it off the show or off the after? Probably after a combination, because he's doing a lot of uh, shows appearances and appearances by himself, yeah. Never Could 
You get typecast though. I mean, There's you never know. Like, like the uh, the actor from Everything Everywhere. Oh you know, yeah. He had a great comeback. That was a really cool story. Are they real aliens? I feel like they're real aliens. Anthony didn't say anything. <laughs> and one of them's Dwight Schrute. <laughs> If they're really aliens, do they think he's like a real space commander from the TV show? Sir, I am Lank, senior requisition officer. Before Sounds like Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Dwight. Weapons, documents, and now. Um, Coca Cola, do you have one of those? This is so something Dwight Schrute would actually do. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to explain the history between our people and the Saris Dominion in greater detail. Yeah, you do. <laughs> he's like flirting. Great nebula burst. Our people were one. What's your name? <laughs> hey, he's talking about the she nebula are. burst. Her translator is broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fighting among tree sex and larvas. Ah, the foolishness. And it was in this time of dissension. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god, it's a spaceship! <laughs> but it's a limousine. Or it may have just gotten beamed up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They beamed it up, Scotty. It's Saris. He's here. Saris. Wow! <laughs> General! Well, you were looking for something new in life, <laughs> and you got it. <laughs> this is great. You know, usually it's just. He just still thinks it's like a job, <laughs> yeah. like a gig. <laughs> He's hungover. <laughs> They bring oh my gosh, she's gonna be like, dang, that CGI went yeah. sick. I mean, you know, it looks <laughs> and if I do not hear what I like, yeah. then there will be <laughs> oh my gosh. and pain, mm. as you cannot imagine. Is <laughs> he just this drinking thing. a Coke? <laughs> He's gonna come off so, like, badass, like, unbothered. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okie dokie, okie dokie, uh, let's fire blue particle can. Oh no! <laughs> You're starting war! Let him run <laughs> all shoots while you're at it once yet. Toss that at him. Go. Oh my gosh! That should take care of old lobster head. <laughs> but if Sarah survives... Oh, I doubt I gave him both barrels. He has a very powerful ship. Oh, have you got any more problems with the guy? Just, uh, you know, give me a call. <laughs> They're gonna take that seriously. An interstellar vox. What? Hey. How can we thank you, Commander? <laughs> Q... You have saved our people. I don't know if he saved them yet. He probably just upset Saris. <laughs> I mean, you had to question something <laughs> at some point. He's not in his best state of mind right now. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, bad trip. What did I, what did I take last night? Oh, he got jelloed. It's like when they put the stapler in the jello in the office. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow, <laughs> so it lets you breathe the space air. Or doesn't <laughs> let you breathe the space air, I guess. There is no air in it's space. It's more like <laughs> It allows you to breathe you while in space. in space. Yeah. Well that's really cool. Oh my gosh, that's how they track <laughs> what the heck? Dang! Where did you land? <laughs> oh, right back at home! <laughs> That's crazy! Take it from us. We've been all over the universe. <laughs> An electronic store opening. Oh. <laughs> all these little, like, appearances they do. <laughs> the line. I grabbed her's hammer. <laughs> what a savings. <laughs> you had to twist it. <laughs> they showed up here too. Oh! Oh no! no! I was up there. Remember yesterday at the convention? Those people dressed like aliens? Okay, well, he's. They, but they're not gonna take you seriously. There's a lot of people dressed like aliens. <laughs> I got to fight this guy named Sarah and I kicked his ass. 
I know what you're thinking, but I can prove it. You gave me this. Oh, no, it's the wrong thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but can you talk to people in space on those? Protector, this is the command. How does it look exactly the same? What are the, co the chances of that? It is time to go. This isn't mine. Oh, there they are. <laughs> that kid, oh. where's that kid? Why do they walk I know like that. <laughs> Saris lives. Listen. He was able upon your departure to Tell make them. an escape. However, he has Saris. contacted us and wishes to negotiate a surrender. We oh, he wants to surrender. To come negotiate the terms. But who surrender? <laughs> he was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? Do they think it's a job? <laughs> well, they have been saying that he's been taking them by himself. Yeah. <laughs> and now they have an opportunity. We are coming to. All of you wish to go to the ship? Yes, we wish to go to the ship. You see, we work together. <laughs> <laughs> as well as the rando who was just in one episode in the back. <laughs> Well, this is one gig for sure. <laughs> what do they have? Oh, look. Are Octopuses. Those tattoo needles? What is that? It's Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> They're th gonna think his head is like real. <laughs> oh, wait, that's their true form? Oh my gosh! <laughs> What the heck? So you guys came. Who wants the grand tour? Oh, he's all late. What the heck? That was a hell of a Who the hell are you so chill with that? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. On behalf of all my people, I wish to thank you from the deepest place in our hearts. Mathazar, this is uh, my crew. Talk to Lazarus. <laughs> wow. His role? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny that they like think it's like legit. Know us? No. I don't believe there is a man, woman, or child on my planet who does not. <laughs> A year since we first received transmission of your historical documents. Oh, they think it's historical documents? Oh my gosh, they don't understand fiction! <laughs> our goals, our values had become scattered, but since the transmission, we have modeled every aspect of our society. And that's why the, the mm. things are the same. Interesting. And their little outfit looks like <laughs> them. They're the ultimate stands! How cute. It's like everything from the show. That's so funny. It came to life. <laughs> Somehow, some way. Are you crazy? We have to get out of here. Oh, come on, guys. Jason, we're actors, not astronauts. You guys want to go home? Say the word, we'll go home. He just wants adventure. Alexander, this is the role of a lifetime. You guys <laughs> want to leave? We have enjoyed preparing many of your esoteric dishes. Your Monte Cristo sandwich. <laughs> the main oh, <laughs> that was flirtatious. Oh dang! And he's acting like the the real commander. Let's <laughs> try gasoline on a flame. <laughs> Like if he didn't already have an ego issue. Just about being on the show, man. This he was just like an extra. <laughs> no pressure, huh? I'm glad I ain't the commander. <laughs> Laredo, take us out. I, he doesn't know how to do it. Like what? <laughs> they designed those controls after watching you <laughs> pick her out. <clears throat> right, right. So he was a kid on the show and he yeah. was the pilot? They show that at the very beginning, but yeah, he was a child. Oh, yeah. I didn't know <laughs> but like, why was he the pilot as a child? It was probably just a show trope. Yeah. <laughs> 
I remember at one point in like the Power Rangers, I know this is completely unrelated, they had a kid Power Ranger who like when he became a Power Ranger, he was all tall and big. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> oh. oh shit! <laughs> Which way to go left and right? You know back and forward. Oh, he's gonna hit it. Would you sit your ass down? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Casey does that to me when I'm driving. She's like, mm. I know. <laughs> Nowhere even close to hitting something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, on the plus side, it probably could have done a lot more damage. <laughs> oh, that noise is like making me cringe! <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. I feel like you probably should learn how to go left and right though. That seems like an important direction. <laughs> probably didn't have to do it on the show. <laughs> the Omega 13. Um, what is it? What does it do? We don't know. We were hoping you could enlighten us. What, wasn't that what the kids were asking about? Yeah. Oh, the Omega-13 device. We found that on an alien planet. We don't know what it does either. Why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? Girl, that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does he know about the Omega-13 device? Our former commander was not... <laughs> ...strong. After three days of this... You still require incentive. <gasps> oh, they were torturing him. Oh. When I grow weary of the noises you make, you shall die. So that's, <laughs> so that's what they meant by he wasn't strong. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Uh, better than my lieutenant. Mm. He failed to activate the ship's neutron armor as quickly as I'd hoped on our last encounter. <laughs> I killed him. Deliver the device to me, or I will destroy your ship. We'd like to do that, but frankly, Sarah, sir, we don't know what it is or even where it is. Do you know what it is? Ten seconds. Like, why does he want it so bad? I mean, well, the commander watched the shows, so, like, the device was on the shows, but even the fans didn't even know what the device yeah. did. So, the commander just thought that the device was important, but they don't even know what it is, you know? Because they weren't the writers, they were just acting the scenes. And that's like what the other guy was trying to ask yeah. about, right? Like, there's a red uh, thingy <laughs> toward the green thingy. What? Great <laughs> reading. <laughs> green thingy. <laughs> that's so funny. Where's the green thingy? <laughs> a little present for you, Commander. We gotta get out of here. Move the ship. Turn it. Move. Let's go. Oh no! At light speed. They're turning. Well, y'all better like fire something back. Uh, I've pressed turbo. I've always said press the turbo. Right? <laughs> turbo? <laughs> I always say hit down. the NOS. <laughs> oh, there y'all go. Whoa. <laughs> the enemy is matching velocity. Oh no! Matching velocity. We're out of the fast time. Gosh, I'm doing it. I'm repeating the darn computer. <laughs> Listen, they're they're telling me the uh, the, the, the generators <gasps> don't take. Oh my gosh! The ship is breaking apart and all that. Why are you so casual? <laughs> we, we, we might be able to lose them in, in this cloud here. Oh, I don't I don't think that's a cloud. Mathers, what is it? This is the Tothian minefield left standing from the Great War of 12185. Oh my <laughs> minefield! Oh whoa! Oh, and we flew right through it. It's like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's crawling under the desk. Could you possibly try not to hit every single one? <laughs> Sorry, man, it just wants us. I he just flew for the first time, like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm still not sure whether he knows how to go left or right. <laughs> Ooh, never mind. We just took significant damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody all right? Where's Tommy? 
<laughs> oh no, is it really? Take him to a medical quarters. Thanks, Madison. He probably has something that fixes that. <laughs> oh, Tommy. <laughs> Computer, what about the engines? Why don't we have power? The beryllium sphere has fractured under stress. It's fractured. <laughs> it's just repeating the computer. Broke the bloody ship. Hey, uh, 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 computer, is there a, a replacement beryllium sphere on board? Computer, is there? <laughs> Why can't he just ask? Her? This is the trope. She's the middleman. Yeah. <laughs> sphere exists on board. No. She's gonna say it again. <laughs> No, that is really getting annoying. <laughs> Look, I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it, okay? Well, you know what? You could forge your own way. Oh, I know. This is real life. We're not being scripted anymore. <laughs> this is why they wrote six pages on her boobs. <laughs> we have failed you. Oh, they're taking responsibility for his fuck up. It's 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 my fault. We we this group. Um... We are not. The people you think we are. I don't understand. They're not qualified for this job. It's like when you lie on the resume. <laughs> and you still get the job? <laughs> <laughs> Is there no one on your planet who <laughs> behaves in a way that's contrary to reality? You are speaking of deception, lies. They just don't have a concept of this, like acting and stuff. <laughs> In our dealings with Ceres, okay. oh. Ceres will say one thing and do another. But this isn't like a lie, though. <laughs> There's a concept we are beginning to learn at some great cost. It's but just if a you are acting. That any of you could have traits in common with Ceres. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like that, uh, what's that Ricky Gervais movie that's like, uh, I think the invention of lying? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard really? that or seen that. Oh. He lives in a world where, like, uh, he and he discovered lying, and then he lived in a world where there wasn't. You need to watch that, then. We might need to watch that on this channel. I have studied your missions extensively. Though I am Thermian, I have lived my life by your philosophy. Aww. <laughs> by Grabthar's hammer, Dr. Lasker. The line. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I was only just... Don't. <laughs> Aw, you like ruined his little life. No, you shut him down. See, never meet your heroes again. <laughs> Aw, this is like sweet though. <laughs> they just don't know. It's cute. Dr. Lazarus, here is your surface map. I have programmed it to the coordinates of a brilliant sphere of sufficient density. Good luck on your mission, sir. I love them, the <laughs> Thermians or whatever, little octopus boys and girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are those things called again? Oh, uh, I used to eat them as a kid all the freaking time. That fake ass cheese and that cheese? shitty ass no. cracker. <laughs> <laughs> and it went hard after school. As a child, it did. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably just eating fucking it. plastic and fucking like, I don't know, cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I remember those too. Are we there yet? <laughs> Billy, Tommy! Wow! <laughs> He's just here for the run. I would have taken my, like, cap off if that was it. Like, that seems, like, so uncomfortable to wear all day. The prosthetic, yeah. yeah. But then you're going to give away it to, like, the other aliens. That's true. And they don't understand. Mm. They'll think you're sorry. <gasps> it's so little! What is that? <laughs> Or something. They're like three years old. <laughs> They're babies. Miners, not miners. <laughs> <laughs> that went over my head too. <laughs> 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 
gonna get over somehow. There's gonna be a million more. <laughs> Glass half empty. <laughs> What's up with that one? Oh. Oh. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> they draw you in with their cuteness. To help the little hurt one. Oh, it's getting water. <laughs> oh my god. Cannibal aliens. Freaking evil. Fred, we need a diversion to clear the compound of those things. Then Alex and Gwen and I will go get a spear. Tommy, get up on that ridge and you see They need to go do get help. Yeah. Thor. It's just a rough plan. What <laughs> difference does it make if it's episode 81 or not? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's just the. <laughs> this is the episode? Gwen, Fred, Alex, and I will go down and get a sphere. Fleegman, you set up a perimeter and Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all, you give us a signal, all right? But don't st stop that! Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do my hands like this. Cool! Oh, <laughs> Look, we have these. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the humor in this movie is like my kind of humor. Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you did the walkie talkie. <laughs> you didn't do the red signal? Oh my gosh. You're going to have to kill these little things. <laughs> they look like a dung beetle. <laughs> Oh, gosh, she looked back. <laughs> She's fought aliens before. She'll be fine. <laughs> Ones that are more intimidating than this. <laughs> you can just kick it. They're so small. <laughs> but they're like zombies, though. They get you in numbers. <laughs> Teeth. No, I mean. no, 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 Jason. no, what the heck? Wait, are they really leaving him? No, leave him. No. <gasps> no, guy, no. what? How did that even happen? <laughs> like, pulled him out. <laughs> I guess there was no room with the rock. Well, you're oh, gonna have right. to win them over somehow. Of course, it's always about you, isn't it? <laughs> As he got left with these freaking scary little tiny aliens. <laughs> you? What? Why would you hit a child with a rock? Oh my gosh. Oh no! Now, we already knew they were cannibals. <laughs> Heck. Oh. What is that? Ew. Yeah. A pig? Tongue looks like freaking Jabba the Hutt's tongue. <laughs> what happened to the little alien babies? They didn't eat him, so. Oh, they wanted to. F well, you want him to fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Theoretically, the mechanism is fully operational. However, it was built to accommodate your hmm, anatomy, not ours. Oh. But now that Tech Sergeant Chen is here, he can. <laughs> it was designed watching his motions from the historical documents. Mm. Those riders better have been good. <laughs> to him. Don't ask. Oh no, everything's fine. But the animal is inside out. <laughs> they can't lie. <laughs> Turned inside out? <laughs> oh, and then it exploded. Ew! <laughs> and it exploded. <laughs> Did I just hear? The chunks. The animal turned inside out and then it exploded? <laughs> Hello? Hold, please. Reminds me of when they blow up a graboid. <laughs> I don't think the pig lizard was Gordnek. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, 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 oh my gosh, it's like a rock monster. What the heck? <laughs> Doesn't even make logical sense. Where is its head? <laughs> Digitize me. Come on, Fred. Come on. 
Oh, no, wait, that's scary. That's scary. Well, but then they it was for it was their for DNA, humans, but they never tested it. It's probably gonna be fine. Fred's no good, Jason. You're just gonna have to kill it. Can't kill a rock. Nobody eyes like in episode 22. What eyes? Doesn't have any eyes, Tommy. What's a uh, rock type's Pokemon's weakness? Is it Leaf? <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to figure out what it wants. What is its motivation? To kill? To pummel? Listen, you were never serious about the crowd. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Jason, I'll just, I'll just mess it up. You did it before you saw the show. Do it now. That was the show. I'm not that guy. Fred, you never forgot a line. You never missed the bar. You're him. You can be <laughs> him. You can do this, Fred. I know in my heart you're going to save my life. I am. No doubt about it, Fred. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> do it for love. Fred? You don't want to die down here. Digitize me, Fred. Oh! Oh, he did it! Mm -hmm. Amanda, thank God you're alive. No. Aww. He's just as sad as. No. That's sad. You wish to save the life of this man? Yeah. Then tell me, what does it do? This Omega 13. I don't know. <sighs> it all comes back down to the Omega 13. <laughs> I said I don't know. <gasps> you bum. I don't know. Oh. Me. I don't know. Do you think I'm a fool? Hey. That the commander does not know every bolt, every weld in his ship. Well, there's a lot more to the story, <laughs> so. Show him the historical documents. Computer, show the historical documents of the Galaxy Quest mission. I mean, you gotta understand TV, right? You can lie. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Explain as you would a child. We, uh, we pretended. He's just gonna think you were lying. Oh my gosh, but like, um, oh, that like hurt my feelings. I'm not a commander. I, uh, there's no National Space Exploration Administration. This was like their whole life. Oh, that made me really sad. Oh my gosh, is he gonna die? I would like to blow this troublesome vehicle. To dust. Says what about my people? Yes, far too simple a death for them, isn't it? Man, screw you, Saris. Release them into space. <laughs> In nine minutes. Where's the happy ending, Jason? Never give up, never surrender. I mean, y'all still can never give up and never surrender. <clears throat> it's about time you just backed off, you. You fin-headed monstrosity. Was this a plan? Are we having a plan? Starting to act like you did in episode 17. Oh, you get an idea. Hack. Just trying oh, to think. Right. Improvise. <laughs> well. <laughs> hundreds to die just because of you. I told you to shut up. Both of you, uh, get in there. Hundreds to die. Just because you want to play a big commander, you raping lunatic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like dirty. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get the gun. Oh, bye! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was 
door's a little sticky. Did you see that? I'll get one of my boys up here with a can of WD. <laughs> <laughs> Used to pull your punches. Sin stealing hack. Raving <laughs> <Even> egomaniac. <laughs> hey, y'all worked together and it worked out. Mm hmm. Oh, because of the air, right? Yeah. No, oh, I feel so bad for them. They were just so nice and innocent. Alexander, get to the barracks. See if you can't wedge the door in case they can't do that. Okay. Wait, Jason, what about me? What do I do? You gotta practice driving. <laughs> Let's go. You're the pilot. <laughs> yeah. Get ready in case everything actually does work. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor. And unless you took a learning annex course, I don't know about. I'm pretty sure you don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor either. No, I don't. But. Someone who does. Oh, the guy! <laughs> Brendan, honey. Garbage. Nerds to the rescue. I'm quite busy. <laughs> Listen to me. This is Jason Nesmith. I play Commander Peter Quincy Taggart, NSEA protector. <laughs> we accidentally traded boxes the other day when we bumped into each other. Oh. <laughs> I understand completely that it's just a TV show. Stop, there, stop for a second. Stop. There, Wait. No ship. It's all real. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> he just like went in <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sir, it's you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the guy oh, who modeled yeah. himself after him. All right, we're at level C hallway five. Now what? Um, go to weapon storage. Your second left through the passage. Now that leads to a system of utility corridors through the bowels of the ship. Open! You know what? I'm gonna get Kyle. Kyle? Alright, all we have to do is turn off the valve to the barracks. They're just playing cards? <laughs> You still got the utility systems walkthrough, right? Yeah, I've got sectors 1 through 28. I think Hollister is the upper levels. Great, we'll get everybody online. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was what I see now. <laughs> He's like watching his, like, <laughs> episodes. General, I have just received word that the commander of the Protector and his command crew have escaped custody. What? No. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Flint, like a bug. <laughs> but sir, my men, the core implosion is not Flint! reversible. Whoa, he got spiky. Ducks. Why is it always ducks? Uh, there will be a slight drop. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> See, this is why you don't discount the ones that know the lore. <laughs> you never know. You okay? Oh. We gotta go across this thing? Yes. Don't look down. Commander, what I give to see what you're seeing. What are you talking about? You're deep in the underbelly of the Omega 13. Oh, it must be spectacular. Now they need to revamp the show. <laughs> These few walls and this dumb spinning fan that we have in every single. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the Omega 13? <laughs> yeah. I feel like they took some liberties, these aliens, as like I doubt that the uh, the writer knew what was going on. But myself and others are convinced that what it is. Oh, the theories. Yeah. The theorist. Thirteen second time jump to the past. Oh. Really not enough time to. Omega thirteen. Be time to redeem a single mistake. Oh, perfect writing. <laughs> go, 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 go. We, we gotta turn off that valve. Their oxygen's almost gone. Listen, I'll go in. I've created a distraction. I got this. I'm okay. <laughs> Can't even hold it up. It's suicide. I'm just a glorified extra, Fred. Oh, mm -hmm. you're more than that guy. If I'm gonna die, I'd rather go out a hero than a coward. That's such a thing an extra who's about to die would say. <laughs> Plucky? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I just had this really interesting idea. Uh, are you stoned? 
He might be. That might explain how he's acting the way he's been acting since he got into space. <laughs> Take a left and then just straight on through the chompers. The chompers? Oh, those mm -hmm. are some definite chompers. This reminds me of something out of like Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> Hollister, do you have the sequence yet? Okay. <laughs> this is Hollister? Two, 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 <laughs> that was what they're, what they're referencing. I love this. Why would we have that? Your gun. Go! 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 Stop! 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 Fire randomly? I love that they were like poking fun at, I know. at the genre too. Like yeah. this episode is badly written. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> He teleported it. <laughs> that guy was smoking. It's the oh, well. Things in life you tread. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good idea. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Romance. Hey, get a room, guys. <laughs> it's like what those tentacles do. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. He's gonna be into it. <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! I feel like there's oh, so many jokes right. one could make right now, and I'm not gonna make them. <laughs> this rock thing looks like something that would be in like Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well. Just he doesn't rock have to breathe. Flown through space, just like us. He has saved us, <laughs> Commander Taggart. Oh, the other. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't get he the didn't praise. Get the Aww. Let's get back to the commander. <gasps> oh, what? Oh. You'll forgive my impertinence, sir. But even though we had never before met, I always considered you as a father. Oh, uh, the line he hates. Said it for him. Oh. For being like kind of a silly movie with a like a fun plot, it yeah. has a lot of really serious moments. It's got heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel like a lot of people feel that way about like their favorite stuff too. Yeah. It's like you know it's it's not real, you know it's fiction, but it's like you when it's you grow fun, up with yeah. characters and that like it means so much to you that it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get this freaking I don't know Davy Jones looking. <laughs> Estimated in 20 seconds. <laughs> Her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like all the way out. Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! <clears throat> oh my gosh, she had to do chores! <laughs> Show. <laughs> Cause 
in like the oh, nick of time. Yeah. <laughs> His hair's popping through. <laughs> he was going ham. You need to get loose him in that minefield. In my minefield? Pedal the metal right now. Pedal to the metal. All right, let's go. To the minefield, but this time we're prepared and we're ready. I see something. Yes. Yes. There they are. Get back on that tail. I can't, sir. What? Why not? Because they're coming right at us. Ooh, they pulled a switcheroo. The actors are going to play war with me. Sarah's a ship accelerating toward us at Mark 2. Accelerate to Mark 4. They're literally the epitome of fake it till you make it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally. Well, let me tell you something, Sarah's. It doesn't take a great actor to recognize a bad one. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> My ship will tear through yours like tissue paper. And what you fail to realize is my ship is dragging mines. <laughs> oh, literally. <laughs> Not to be confused with miners. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Good riddance, Saris. How dare you hurt those little octopus boys like that? Come here. This ship was a model as big as this. A very clever deception. He thought he was just like, <laughs> trying to deceive Saris. <laughs> <laughs> No commander. Nathazar, I think your people have a great commander. You, Mathazar, you! <laughs> Don't worry about that right now, Alexander. Fred, what are you doing up here? Shouldn't you be downstairs until we just. <gasps> hey. What is he doing? Fred? <gasps> what? What? Fred! Frederick, what are you doing? <laughs> that was the energy surge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so then what happened to Fred? I mean, he was just impersonating him, but... I don't know. I, now I... Oh, the event yet! 13 seconds! That makes a mistake. Great writing. The, the show didn't have it. We have it here. The movie. <laughs> That's all we need, 13 seconds, and we'll know you're a freaking fraud. We're out. <gasps> <We're going>. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Grab a gun. You better, like, juke him out. Like, just as soon as the door opens, just shoot him in the head. Do it, do it, do it. Shit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna have to do it again? Is it only a one-time thing? Oh, okay, 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 good. <laughs> Mathazar! Yeah, <laughs> Mathazar! Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was catching I know. it. <laughs> oh, like, they picked up quickly. <laughs> it's still so funny to me that, like, Sigourney Weaver's, like, moves are just, like, so exposed. It's like that trope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does he have? Like, fireworks? Oh, my God! Detector got super accelerated, and you guys know it's pretty unstable, obviously. So we're gonna help Laredo guide it on the box social frequency carrier and use Roman candles for visual. <laughs> I love that. All right, all right, dinner's at seven. At least he has hobbies. <laughs> all the nerds. <laughs> hey, it's cool to be a nerd now. Yeah, it is cool now. Maybe there was not 20 a, there years was a ago. time where it was not cool, but nerd culture is like <laughs> the culture. <laughs> God. 
Honestly, shout out to all the nerds that came before us. <laughs> you paved the way. Yeah, you walked so we could run. Yes, thank you. You 80s nerds, 70s mm -hmm. nerds, 60s nerds. Or 60s nerds geeking out about comics. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Short films? I don't know. Like, you know, I know oh my God. That was before the 60s. Those are like some 1920s nerds. They were like silent films. <laughs> like, check out this Charlie Chaplin shit. <laughs> no, it's Ferrati went ham. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this a presentation? <laughs> what a great day to be at the con. <laughs> They're gonna think it's legit. Okay, announce a, a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. Announce a reboot. <laughs> We're bringing it back. Just make the whole thing about what just happened here. It'd be perfect. Look at her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Wow, what effects! <laughs> Another shipmate! <laughs> Another! <laughs> we need to write him a better storyline. Sergeant Chen! Red Claw! And the friend. Oh, oh shit! Oh no! Sarah's! Give him a big hand, he's British! <laughs> he's British. <laughs> Told you, we should have shot him. Sarah's is gonna freaking walk out. They're gonna be like, an alien! <laughs> There's a little Nerf gun they're pointing at him. Oh my god. Oh. And they're gonna think <laughs> oh my god. They're like, wow, that was sick! Great, great practical, <laughs> oh my gosh, great practical effects. <laughs> the visuals went ham. Do that for the crew, the NSCA protector. Hmm? Uh, true love. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I knew they had some chemistry. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the stands. <laughs> it's like we waited however many episodes for this. <laughs> the shippers, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> he wants to share the spotlight now. <laughs> well, if a reboot, reboot, mm -hmm. reboot. And now, oh yes! Again after yes, it had to happen. <laughs> that was that was such a perfect marketing opportunity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, she got a spot on the show. <laughs> Jane Doe? Jane Doe? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yes! You got a last name. <laughs> Real quick, before we get into it, what is a dream show that you wish they would bring back as a reboot? Comment down below. I want to know. Well, I think I am having my dream come true because I actually just heard that mine would be King of the Hill and Ooh. King of the Hill is coming back. And I'm really excited about that. Please don't mess it up. I think Hulu is in charge of it this time. I really like this movie. I feel like it was a love letter to nerds, honestly. Yeah. It was so, like, and at surface level, it was like a fun, you know, kind of funny movie. Silly a little bit. But it has a deeper meaning. So, you know, nerds, like people who love these shows and who kind of obsess about it have all these merch items. Yeah, obviously. Several, <laughs> several merch items. They spoke to us yeah. through this movie. <laughs> like, we know it's fiction and we know it's fake and we have real lives outside of it, but there's something so special about it and it means so much to you yeah. that it almost becomes real in a sense. But, like, you obviously understand the difference between, like, reality and fiction. But these characters do become almost real to you, like, whatever. Maybe you relate to them, maybe they uh, remind you of someone you love, or just whatever reason that you love these characters. There's times in your you life as them. well, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and different things, like, just, you know, really speak to you, and I feel like they really hit the nail on the head there, like, with the uh, these alien creatures, kind of, like, 
I mean, obviously they didn't understand the difference, but to them, they like looked up to them so much. And like these people, they were just like actors that were kind of washed up and they didn't really realize the impact that they had for yeah. a lot of people. And I feel like that's, I mean, that's a true thing for a lot of people nowadays too. It's like, you know, these shows, like maybe it was a job for them. Maybe they really love what they did. But for some people that might've been their favorite show of all time. And they watched it 10 billion times and they loved it. Um, and I just thought it was really nice. It was sweet. And I loved yeah. it. It had so much heart and I just loved it. Going to conventions, honestly, is so yeah. fun. If you've never been, you should definitely go find something that you really like. And then I'm sure there's a convention oh, out yeah. there that has actors from that show. It's so fun to be around people people who love the same thing as you do as well and like to see people like put all their enthusiasm into mm -hmm. their costumes and like you know spend so much time like wanting to go here and like actually being there around all similar minded people it's such a fun experience yeah, so it's, definitely go yeah conventions are an incredible like it's the one place that you can go full out cosplay yeah. and like and no one will question and you like, at all the cooler the cosplay like the cooler you are like it's just it's so good and like it's just yeah everybody's there loves the same things you do um it's really fun so this was definitely like an homage to nerd <laughs> culture and i loved it so yeah and the movie itself it was just so funny like yes. i remembered pretty much all of it like this i i had watched a lot when I was a kid. Um, so there wasn't anything that happened that really kind of shocked me. Something that I forgot about. I pretty much remembered it. I probably watched this maybe at least 10 times in my life. Oh. <laughs> it's really fun and I'm glad to like have shown Casey yeah. this. I didn't really want to tell her what was going on before we jumped into it because I did remember how it started off and I was thinking, okay, are you going to think like it's, you know, it's just like, you know, some space show, which it kind of was or a movie, I should say. Um, that's how it started off and you kind of call it really on, like early on. I mean, it's kind of yeah. easy to pick up on it because it has like those like little tropes of, you know, this old sci-fi show. I know probably the show that they were pretty much like pointing at was Star Trek, which I wasn't like a Star Trek fan necessarily. I never really watched the shows or the movies, the original movies. I saw like the, the newer ones and I feel like I watched some of like the, the new, or not the new show, but the ones from the 90s. I even forgot the name of that. I know Star Trek friends will probably be upset by that, but I was always a Star Wars kid growing up. But I feel like this spoke to everybody. It wasn't just Star Trek. You could watch this yeah. and really like, Feel like you can the, like, the relate it to like any fandom of, like, of any kind. The the kid, uh, I forgot his name, but uh, Justin Long's character, oh, when he yeah. was like talking to his mom, he's like, oh, this and this and this yeah. and this. Like, <laughs> yeah. she's like, he's like expecting her to know exactly what yeah. she's talking about, but it's just completely going over her head. Like that's such a, a funny trope because there's like so many things that if you're a big fan of something, you could probably tell somebody who doesn't know anything about the show oh, yeah. and you probably sound like freaking crazy. Like imagine <laughs> trying to explain like anime to somebody who yeah. doesn't watch anime. And <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell are you even talking about? Yeah, I'm glad I went into this blind. Uh, I think it was better to just kind of go into it and like discover as you yeah. went. Uh, I think it was so unique of a concept and like, I like movies like this that kind of like, it's just so unique and just different. I like different stuff. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone. <laughs>